So, you're heavily favoured this weekend. You think this will end your embarrassing streak of draws? Lloyd, I've never been embarrassed about having streaks in my draws. You know, it's all part of growing up. Can you tell us, what can fans expect from season two of Ted Lasso? Oh boy, I mean, you know, more of the same, just different. You know, cl classic season two move, you know, just a yeah, few, few yeah. new faces. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some similar issues. If Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan go through some heartfelt struggles and still end up happy, then so can we. And yet some completely new issues that might seem rooted in the original issues. So I believe in communism. Rom communism, that is. Yeah. Yep, that's true. Majority of people speaking English. The Ted Lasso welcome wagon has arrived. Ted! A lot right. of English. A lot yeah. of English. Some with accents. We go ahead, Stan. So I talk a little bit about. I mean, Ted Lasso came out last summer. He was a huge hit with with people as well as the supporting cast. Why do you think the show resonated so much with people? I mean, it's such a tough question. The to, easier question to ask than answer. I I, I wish I knew. I, I'd like to think you know some of the things that we have control over on you know the on the creative side. That being making intentional choices with the way we told the story and 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 certainly you know. Uh, how smart we were to hire people that that were really really talented and really really thoughtful in their decision making, both you know on the writing side, producing side, acting, you know, post production. Uh, I, I think you know, and just the the right amount of alchemy of those elements, and then good old fashioned good luck. All right, let's go kick their butts. Butts on three. Works for me. One, two, three. Butts. Can the two of you tell me a little bit about where Ted came from in the first place? You both co-created him. Uh, he was in those famous commercials from almost a decade ago. How did Ted sort of present himself to the two of you? Yeah, well, I mean, NBC Sports stepped to me, asked me if I wanted to, you know, do a com a promotional commercials to, um, uh, to you know, the Premier League was playing on NBC, and and I was like, oh sure. Uh, and then I had an idea for what the character would be like, a little bit more, you know, homespun kind of like, you know, good old boy energy versus like a, you know, yelling and shouting. And they allowed me to bring on a couple writers, and I knew exactly who to bring, uh, one being Brendan Hunt and then our good buddy Joe Kelly. And so it, it was really inspired by that. But I think the series really sort of became something we were interested in and felt, you know, we could do when we did the second commercial. There you go, tackle him. What the hell? That's not a tackle. It's just sliding around. Soccer tackle, sir. Because in doing the second commercial, it sort of unlocked this... Um, uh, you know, childlike enthusiasm and unwavering optimism in the character. All right there, Gary. That's how you tackle. Uh, that that I always just felt had a, had a heart, soul, and as they say in showbiz, legs. And and Joe and Brennan and I, you know, put our, our brains together and and came up with you know within a week's time, within like, I think only four days actually, because we used the other days to do other stuff, um, work on other stuff. You know, an idea for for a whole first season and. And you know, and you know, beat out a, a, a pilot script, which you know, not much of it had changed. Um, it only got better once we added Bill Lawrence to the mix. Just doing that first commercial was like, uh, hey, we go to England for a few days, and then eventually, get this, they'll take us to a soccer game. What? That's, uh, that's all we wanted. That's where the bar was. Now, <laughs> eight years later, we we're still talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so to jump off that, Brendan, then how much did the two of you know about soccer in the first place? Um, we both, you know, grew up in the Midwest of America and we, you know, soccer never took hold on either of us particularly, but then, um, uh, I got a job in Amsterdam doing comedy out there and, um, that's when I discovered I'd been lied to about soccer. Soccer was in fact awesome. And, uh, I, I, I like wanted to play catch up right away. Like I learned everything I could about soccer to the point where like after a year and a half of living in Amsterdam, I was the MVP of any pub quiz for the soccer categories. Um, so yeah, to be able to have this job now that, that is, you know, uh, incorporates this late love of my life. Uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. I, you little turd birds, start touching your toes. They touch each other's toes. What? what? Yeah. So to answer your question, I knew Jack squat, much like Ted and Brendan, much like coach beard knew everything. Oi mate, this is you. I believe it is. Wicked. You coaching football. You are a legend for doing something so stupid. I mean, it's mental. They're going to murder you. Uh, and, you know, we, we, we turned that, you know, relationship into, uh, 
into comedy for the commercials, but it's it's pretty much how we conduct our lives too. I I I I'm more inclined to text Brendan than Google about questions about soccer because he also knows how to explain it to me. Google will still keep it complicated and reference other soccer things. Brendan will break it down to like a Bruce Willis movie or you know the '90s Bulls in a way that I can digest it easier. Where it goes too far, then Jason will be like, "Brendan, how do I get to this place?" I'm like Jason. There's a there's That's an true. app called Waves. I know. Just I should do that. Type it yep. in, but all right, uh, then I got to do yep. it for him. Yep. It's fine. It works. Yep. It got me a gig. 